This is Circular again for another RPMS update. Today, we'll be talking about the progress of RPMS. But before that, we're going to have a quick review. In the last quarter of school year 2019-2020, during the height of the COVID-19, a communication was released to suspend Parts 3 and 4 temporarily. And after, the Department of Education have built the protocols on the alternative work arrangement of its employee through the Department Order No. 11 Series 2020, a communication signed by Yusek Mateo was released in the field. And this has something to do with the resumption of the Parts 3 and 4 of IPCRF for the school year 2019-2020. Part of that memorandum signed by Yusek Jess was the announcement that each school shall nominate at most three uploaders of the IPCRF for teachers. The deadline was supposedly in July 6. However, due to some challenges on the internet connectivity and in the online system, we extended the registration until the fourth week of July. And this time, the update for the RPMS is the uploading of the electronic IPCRF for teachers in our database. Since this is the first day of the first week of August, we are going to start the uploading of the IPCRF of teachers based on the timeline set on the memorandum signed by USEC Chess dated June 16, 2020. The uploading of the electronic IPCRF for teacher will commence on the first week until the third week of August. So we would like to remind our uploaders to upload the electronic IPCRF the teachers with utmost urgency. This is to avoid data surge and cyber traffic in our uploading of the electronic IPCRF. This time, I am going to give you a tutorial on how are we going to upload successfully the electronic IP serve of the teachers in our system. The first thing that we're going to do in uploading the electronic IP serve for teacher is you will see the submission link in the description below or type in http colon double slash bit.ly slash IP serve submission or to its alternative link which is http colon double slash bit.ly slash IPCRF system submit. But you have to remember, you can only access this link if your email is registered as one of the uploaders. Step 2 is click sign in with Google and use the debit email address enrolled as IPCRF uploader. So again, you have to remember that only debt and email addresses enrolled as IPCRF uploader can access this link. Moreover, there might be prompt that your email is not registered as uploader. So you have to ensure that your debt and email address is the one running in your browser. Step 3. Once you successfully enter in the submission link, you need to read and understand the notes and instruction carefully. Remember that once you uploaded the electronic IP serve in the system, you can no longer edit this or you can no longer change it. So make sure that all the IP serve submitted are the actual and correct IP serve of the teachers as verified by your school head. Step 4. You have to click Upload IP serve file here. Then browse and select the file to be uploaded. Step 5. Review the details of the file and click Submit. In this part, the system will prompt you with the name of the teacher, the region, the division, and the school ID where the teacher belongs. Step 6. A successful uploading shows you this notice. Congratulations! Your IPCRF data has been uploaded successfully. Once you see this notification, just click OK. Step 7. You may click View Submission to check the status of your uploaded files. You can use the search field to look for the name of the teacher whose file is already uploaded. Just click View Submission. So if you wish to upload another electronic IP server for teachers, just repeat steps 4, 5, 6, and 7. And click Log Out in the home page as soon as you're done. So you have to remember that the submission of our electronic IP CRF will start on the first week until the third week of August 2020. So ayun mga kadeped, I hope I help you with this tutorial on how to accomplish the electronic IP CRF online submission. 
also for your concerns related in the electronic IT service submission, you can contact your division ITO or regional ITO or better yet, email us through this link. So that's it for our tutorial for today. I hope that this video will help you accomplish our task. So lagi lang po nating tandaan na tayong lahat ay importante sa ating kagawaran. Kaya lagi po nating isaalang-alang ang ating kalusugan. So this has been Sir Kaloy. See you next time! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight!